Hello guys, I thought I'd just quickly give you an update. Oh my goodness. What is that? <gasps> Did I just hit it? That would have been a good shot. Okay, that wasn't what I actually wanted to inform you about. But, um, that's a wisp, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, that's making a little cameo in this update. Basically, I wanted to just fill you in because I'm just playing, you know, just, just playing in the background now. Um, trying to find that stronghold still. I've got my eyes of Ender. And I'm trying to kind of pay more attention to where it actually leads to because so far it's it's led me past the, the marker. Where is it? Um, there. Oars. That's where I dug down before. And it's actually led me to here, to this tree. And as you can see, it, it's a slightly different looking tree. It's got cobwebs, it's darker planks, and I shall tell you how it differs, because I have seen this tree before. And let me tell you this, they're not the nicest of trees. I mean, look, spooky cobwebs, which we're going to get rid of. But I have a feeling, maybe not there, but somewhere in the dark depths of this tree, there lies baby spiders. Now, actually, I'm being quite lucky here and not getting any spawning on me. Which is the only time I would want some to spawn, just to show you. But, oh, yep, there they are. There they are. Mm-hmm. They actually turn nice in the daylight, which I didn't realise they did. But, yeah. Let's take that back. I've got to try and find a way. I want to get rid of that tree anyway, because that's just going to get on my nerves. Um, did I pick up any of those logs? I didn't. The logs are quite nice looking. They're nice and dark. They'd be good for... um oldie timey medieval buildings they would uh, so yeah I'm going to get rid of this tree I'm going to see where that leads I wish I knew where that wisp went he just wanted a little little cameo and he buggered off fine but yeah oh, I'm going to try and find a stronghold I I went really far I did I went over a, a thousand and a half blocks and then it was just endless ocean so I turned back so I'm going to try a bit harder with this one um, so yeah I'm going to try and take down this tree wish me luck Ooh. Okay, I got rid of it. Look at that. I destroyed the whole tree. Turns out the spawner is just right underneath it, right on right on the bottom of the planks. So, um Yeah. And look underneath. There's a chest. But to open the chest, we have to destroy the spawner. And Joe, you know that whole soul shard stuff I was talking about last episode, I could use that on this. I could get I think it's 200 kills if you right click a soul shard on a spawner. You get 200 kills from it. But really, who wants a baby spider spawner? Who? I, I don't. No way, Jose, do I. So that is just going to go. And we are going to get our loot. Oh. Oh, it's just a normal chest. Dungeon chest. I thought it would be a bit different. Wheat. So. Lots of music discs, though. That thing. Oh, that's a bit crap, actually. I thought it would be a bit more interesting than that, because this is um, a great wood tree. So I thought it would have some really cool mystical loot underneath, but it turns out no. Oh, well. Um, so I'm going to carry on finding the stronghold. Ooh. At least trying to, anyway. I have another few throws around here. Yep. Not looking good, though. And I'll be back soon. Okay. I'm back. And basically, I took down the tree, the tree was fine, you know, we've got the loot, that was all well and good. I dug down around the tree, and um, you may just think, where the hell am I? But but listen, you've probably already heard it, listen. <gasps> I hear three things. One thing I don't care about, zombie. Who cares about the zombie? Two things, I hear lava, and I hear silverfish. Oh yes. Now that is a good sign. And that probably just means I've been really stupid and did not find the um, the stronghold before, even though it's right near here. Really odd. But anyway, let's let's try not fall in the lava and let's head down. Oh, this is exciting. Oh god, what's that? Okay, that's just is that diamond. You probably can't see anything. Sorry. There we go. That's probably better. <gasps> yes, that's what we're after. Oh no, that's not what we're after. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay, um. Alright, oh they dropped those as well. Ooh. 
Alright, we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that spawner because we can always make a silverfish. I don't know why you'd want to make a silverfish spawner, but you could. Oh right, seriously now guys, you're you're getting on my nerves. And you're actually killing me quite a bit. How mm. I'm gonna die down here. I'm actually gonna die. Oh, oh, get some light on there. No! Stop that! Evil little things. Oh, they're doing that thing now. Every time you kill them, they, they wake up more of them, don't they? There you go, look. The whole wall's probably full of them. Alright, back away. Back away. Probably just hear like, the sound of me furiously clicking. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not sure how to get rid of them, to be honest. If I'm just going to keep calling more of them. Oh, wait, no, I think I've done it. I think they're gone. I'm not even sure if... Oh, that's a... <laughs> I didn't realize you could do that. I'm not even sure if this disables it. But, there we go. We found the portal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're good. We've got enough. So what we're going to do is... Actually, let's have a little explore around the stronghold first. This is the first one I've probably found, so... You go away. Oh, I'm just going to block that up for the time being. There you go. And let's have a little explore. Maybe I should... Mm, let's set a waypoint. Um, that's probably the smartest idea. There you go. Oh, I should probably say, I probably haven't introduced this episode properly, have I? Because I started off with an up update. Um, hello, we're playing Feed the Beast. Hi. So... Oh, man. That is awful loot. I'm getting really bad loot. Hmm. Okay. This is really low, actually, for a... Let's have a look. Level 13. Hmm. Now, did I bring a water bucket? I did. Well, at least we found one. I, I, did, I did do some of your suggestions. I went really, really far away. Still nothing. Eventually, I just found endless ocean. So, yep, had to go back, and I just had to stick with this one. Oh my! Come on now, that can't be the whole stronghold. Surely not. Surely not. Oh, what's down here? Oh, that's not torch. Where's my torches? Oh God, there's some. Oh right, wait, 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 wait. Cool, I could have a creeper attack then. Um, isn't there supposed to be a library and stuff? Come on now, stop being so stingy. This is just an abandoned mine shaft. Oh man, that cannot, that cannot be the whole stronghold. Maybe I wasn't that far off when I said last episode about it being one block big. Blimey! Look at that. Where is it? Down here again. Is that seriously it? <laughs> I can't see any more. Maybe I should dig through some walls. That is very dangerous. Hang on. Yep, it is not looking good. Wow. Ah, oh, it's not even diamond, it's stupid silver. Um, hmm. Alright, well, we'll just quickly knock through this wall, see if there's anything here. Although, I really doubt there will be. I think this is all we've got. Which, okay, we've got the important part, I suppose. But at least we've got the, the portal, which is really all we need. But I would have liked some other stuff. I would have liked the library, and I'd like to... Um... What's the other one? Why well, do you get in strongholds? Or is that it, really? It's just a library. Yeah. Alright, they're actually pretty crap, don't worry. Uh, okay, then, well, I guess there's nothing else to do. <laughs> I guess there's nothing else to do apart from get the portal working. That's kind of disappointed me, but at the same time, I'm just glad I've found one. So, hey ho. Let's cover that. Do not want to fall in that. Dangerous. Okay, here we go. Do do do. Even the lava's all weird. Look at that. 
That's it, you die. Alright, now I don't want to fall in because I've got good stuff on me. So stay away from that. Stay away. And let's make a chest. God. I still hear them. So we can put all our stuff away. I just want to go in there completely empty. Oh, it may be... Maybe a sword. I'll take a sword in with me because, you know, Enderman. And there's going to be this stupid dragon there which is going to kill me straight away anyway. So... But let's just go have a quick peek. I want a pick. Can't forget the pick because you are going to be stranded. Let's take that iron one. Um, leave that behind. We we'll take a little bit of food, and we we'll take some torches and some blocks. We're gonna die. I don't know why I'm doing this because we are just gonna die. But okay, let's go <gasps> into the end. Oh my god! Wait a minute. Ah, oh, I'm so confused. Hang on. Why is there a door? Whoa. Oh, seriously, bugger off. Maybe there is more to this stronghold then. Oh, uranium. Why did I just hear a door being broke? Weird. Oh, this is so weird. I don't like strongholds, they scare me. They scare me, let's just go. Oh, getting... oh god, they were strong. No, don't burn the chest! No, no, no. Did the chest burn? I don't even know. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's just go. Don't care about that. Wee. Oh, what a mess. Okay, yes, I was right about that. Oh no. No oh, no. Oh my god. Oh my god, I haven't heard the new dragon sound effects, and I'm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Well, for that went well, didn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't have time to do anything. Oh dear, is that is that not No, okay, oh crap. I should have turned that off. This has probably just been wasting loads of humus. Oh, oh well. Uh, let's just see how our stuff's doing over here before we try and go back there. Uh, I don't even know why we're going to go back there, to be honest, because we need to get rid of that dragon, and we have not got enough good stuff to get a dragon, uh, to kill the dragon. What we need to do first is build a mob farm to get XP, to get some really high level enchants, to go in there beast mode, really. But oh well. At least we've got a hint. As in a very, very, very small glimmer of the end. Let's see how this is doing. 479, yeah. That may, that may not seem like much since last episode. I think it was 475. But it took a big dip downwards when I uh, hooked up the tree farms. Because they took up a lot. Like all this, all this pipe full of biomass took out of there. So that's why. But it slowly started to rebuild back up. Which is good. Oh man, I can't believe that. Uh... <laughs> Stupid dragon. Let's take that vile dust with us. Uh, because we're going to go back to the soul, soul forge, I think. Try and make some soul shards as well. I don't know what went wrong last time. I really don't, because... It says eight. I put eight in, and it didn't do it. Let's go have another look. Oh, it did! <gasps> oh, maybe it was just on its last bit of vile dust, so obviously it doesn't show up there. But there was no fire in there, was there? Oh, I can't remember, but hey, we have got soul shards. Oh yeah, now we've just got to decide which mobs we want to start building up um, spawners for. Now, let's think about this. Hmm. Zombies are kind of useless in this. At least with skeletons you get bones and uh, arrows. Creepers, I think, later down the line, um, gunpowder becomes very, very, very useful. Let's just check. Oh, no, no, no. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <gasps> Fireworks. Oh. Well, maybe not then. Maybe that's just another mod I'm thinking of. 
but still gunpowder would be nice and as I said before blazers I think would be nice because they give more XP um, ender farm obviously for the ender pearls those precious precious ender pearls and can you get does it have to be hostile mobs hmm can you get like a cow spawner awkward cut sorry Sneezes, once more, as always. Bit tired of saying that now, but still. Um, what was I saying? Cows. Mmm, cow spawner. Actually, I just had a little think about that during that awkward cut. That would be difficult, even if it did work, because then you'd have to breed a lot of cows to get up to a spawner minimum, which I think is 200. So, and obviously they don't, they don't spawn like mobs do. Once, once you kill them, that's it. They're gone. Which I, I'm still not sure I like that about this game. I, I don't, because... They take too long. If it if it was faster for them to grow up, then sure. But they take like twenty minutes, and mm, don't like that. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do in today's episode? Now that we've failed completely at that stupid stronghold, which is about five blocks wide. <laughs> um, well, I want to start getting some. I think. I think I definitely want a, a skeleton one. So. Let's um, there, put that back. Is that right? Yes. Let's go put a few kills on one of the soul shards from the spawners in that dungeon over there. So, what do I need? I need food. Oh man. I left all my stuff back at that stronghold. Bit stupid, maybe, but oh well. Um, nope. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to grab some food um, and get re-equipped. And we go do that. Go have a little look at that spawner. And then I think we might do some building. I think we need to do some more aesthetic stuff because this is looking a bit... Yeah, I think we need some more trees here and some roads maybe. And we could start getting the idea of the city built up, I think. That will probably be a good place to go. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back, and I've got some basic tools, I've got some food on me, and I've got one soul shard. But, before we head over there to the, um, the spawner, I thought I'd come back here and just explain something that I saw on the Feed the Beast Reddit. Um, basically, it was a way to... Uh, what was it? It's like a quick and easy way to get diamonds. And it used a minium stone, and it actually used a logger, which is why I... Oh, I keep getting stuck in this block for some reason. Stupid thing. Um, yeah, they used the logger, which was why I was interested in it. But but after looking at it, it's a little bit cheaty. Basically, what they do is um, you get you get a source of wood, which you know we're getting a lot now. Um, and as I did last episode, wood can be made into obsidian with a minium stone. Um, and from that, you can do like a chain of events to get diamonds with the minium stone. Because after you get obsidian, let's let's just go through this obsidian. Um, there we go, like that. Yes, yes, we're going to work. Is it going to show it? Yes, here we go. Um, with obsidian, you can then get iron. And then with iron... Oh, there might be a lot of pages for this one. Hang on. Let's have a look. Do, do, do. Not working. I can't tell if I'm just going around in circles now. I think I am. Okay, well, basically, I'll, I'll just explain it. With the minium stone and four iron, you can make gold. And with a minium stone and four gold, I think you make a diamond. So you basically, you just use a minium stone every stage and you upgrade the ingot until you finally get to a diamond. That's a little bit, I don't know, I think that's a bit of an exploit, to be honest. I mean, it's not cheating because it's in the game, but I think they're a, they're a nicer way to get diamond. Such as, this is one thing I, I hope works, but I have a feeling that it probably doesn't. Let me just sleep. Um, and it uses, well, here's the problem. It uses coal to make diamond, which makes sense because, you know, diamonds do come from coal but I don't think it works with charcoal which sucks which is even more of a reason for them to be the same thing you should just get coal from this not charcoal because let's have a look this is the oh this is the stage I wanted to do so you get coal yeah and then you macerate the coal where are we you into coal dust yep yeah. then with coal dust you make Where are you? Come on. Come on now. Okay, it's just easy to figure this. Right, let's just let's work backwards. 
coal chunk. With a coal chunk, you can make diamonds if you compress it, I think. Yes, you get diamond. There you go. How do you make a coal chunk? Obsidian and compressed coal balls. How do you make coal balls? With um, compressing or coal ball chunks, you compress coal balls. How do you get coal balls? You use coal dust and flint. Now, does it work with charcoal? That is the question. I'm going to say no, but let's have a quick test while we're at it. Um, out of the way, plant balls. I need to... Oh, no, it's going to chuck them out. Um, can I quickly catch it before it sucks it out? Hang on. Uh, no, I can't. Okay, where's that going to send it to? Probably this one. It's probably going to get pop out, so... That may have just ruined everything. Uh, hello? Where are you? <gasps> Where's that gone? Oh, there, there it is. Okay, it is. It's just going to pop it out. Alright. So we'll let that do its thing for a, for a second. Hopefully I have some flint somewhere. Please. Yes. Excellent. Kind of ruining the system here a little bit, but that's okay. And Joe, you know I think that'll be enough. Three. Hmm. Maybe not. How many did I put in? Here's some more. Yeah, but something tells me this isn't going to work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Four. Yeah, alright, I'm just going to quickly cut until it's done. Okay, that's a good thing because my voice is running out there as well. But here we are. Oh, we got we got nine. We got one more than necessary, but hey. Let's see if this works. Mm, I have a bad feeling about this, which will suck because that would be a pretty neat way to get... Oh to get diamonds it's not and it it requires effort as well which isn't bad but no that just doesn't work it's because they're two different things there is charcoal dust and there's also coal dust they should just be the same thing oh blimey oh my god i need to get a drink i think yeah i probably need to get a drink but oh well we're gonna push on because my voice is so sore but um yeah that that plan ruined now Ugh. I mean, diamonds aren't really the be-all and end-all of Feed the Beast. They just help. They just, they, they're just they things towards um, getting better things. Unlike in normal vanilla Minecraft, where diamonds really are the, probably the best things you can get, there are things above diamonds in this one, you know. Mainly, I think it's iridium. That's the thing that everyone always wants. And that's practically impossible to get unless you grind and grind and grind, or use exploits, which they possibly have just fixed as well, so they probably can't even do that now either. There we are. Here's this um, wisp dungeon with the spawners. So what we're going to do is, let's take out some of these lights, get some skellies to spawn, and let's see, right, this should, this as long as it's on your hotbar, it should work. So this should... Where is it spawning? I just heard one. Oh no, not you, zombie. I can't kill it. Otherwise, uh, I don't want a zombie shard. Okay, good, that didn't work. Uh, let's light up this one. No, you... <laughs> I don't want you. Go away. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you're you stuck down there now, aren't you? Give me that part thing. And you spawn. Oh, there you go. Quickly, on the bar. <gasps> there, do you see that? Do you see it's now got a little bar? It's a skeleton soul shard. Tier zero. I've killed one. That should keep going up. Oh, I see now. You're all just spawning here. And I just heard that weird noise again. Oh my god. What the hell is that? I know where it is, but where is it? There. Oi. Die. Ooh. I just got a wispy essence. What is that? Come on, what do you do with that? Tell me. Do something. Wispy. Why is it not even on the thing? Oh, it is. It's just a red one. Are you going to tell me what you do with you? No. Fine. That's probably broke. I have to look that up. Unless any of you know what a wispy essence does. But I do not. So, if we now look at this, it should have four. There we go. So I could just right-click this with it and get 200, but then that would be a waste. I should probably use this to get a few before I do that. Um, because basically, well, really, a tier five would be the best. Tier five would be awesome. Where does this lead to? Oh, nowhere. Sorry, really dark for you. Uh, 
There you go. And there's some mushrooms as well. Um, so I might just sit here and grind for a while, actually. Hmm. I might make this into a better spot. That's... Oh my god, there's another one. That's... Alright. We can't stay here for too long. Um, this may be a bit more troublesome than I thought. Stop zapping me. Oh. They're horrible. I need an arrow. I need a bow. I wonder if it will zap the skeleton. If I'm in its way. Oh, you, sh you should... You should not be able to hit me from there. Okay, run away. <laughs> they make a horrible noise. I do not like that. Do not like that. Okay, so there's... Hmm. I wondered why they wasn't there before. Oh. Oh, go away from me. I don't like that. Let's just go home. Um, let's go home and, and just do some building. Why not? Let's just... Ugh. Yeah, I'd probably do that off screen anyway, because no one wants to see me grind a spawner for ages. That's just stupid. Um, but if I can at least get maybe, I don't know. If I make that into a very, very, very basic mob mob farm, which you don't need to see. It's just going to be they drop, you know, uh, they drop to tw like 20 odd blocks and they get one heart left. And I just whack them a little bit and they die. Um, I, you can easily get like 100 each each time with that, so... If you just let it build up for about, I don't know, uh, 20 minutes. So that's probably how I get the um, the soul shard for that done. Where am I going? Where where do I, what do I need to do? Building materials. That's right, we'll probably build a road or something. Um, I'm still not sure what to put here. I want to I want to start building the roads out. So maybe it should be a road going this way. No, whoa, that, 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 <laughs> that camera turn was weird there. They didn't mean to do that. I meant this way up there. And maybe you can branch out here to the right and go up there. There's going to be some very important things we have to decide soon. Like design of streets, design of um, street lights, which I want to be daylight sensors because that would just be sweet. Uh, have they got a daylight sensor in this? Uh, light sensor maybe? <gasps> they have. Does it work? How do you make it? Oh, I think I know what we're going to do today. Screw the roads. We're going to do this. Because we've made the wafers before. Blue doped wafer. Oh, we need an alloy furnace. And what's this? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. What's all this about? Oh, uh, well, no, that's, not, that's not too bad. We could maybe have time for this really, very quickly. Um, I just want to see if it emits a, a thing. Although I believe this is actually blue tricity. That may not work. Blue electricity is part of red power, um, but as long as it gives a signal, you could can't you convert it to redstone? Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Let's see if they've got any others. I mean, it's a shame this is, isn't in a newer uh, version of Minecraft where it has actually has the daylight sensor. No. What about? Well, let's just type in the sensor. Don't know what that is. Uh, lots of. Uh, oh, uh, hmm. Okay, Joe. You know before I build this, because I might be horribly wrong, I'm just going to quickly look up what this thing does, and if it is what I want it to do, does what I want it to do, even, um, then we shall make it. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, just looked it up. Turns out that is exactly what I want. It does emit a redstone signal. Um, does it for loads of different thresholds? Apparently, you got daylight and moonlight and complete darkness and stuff like that. So I think that's what we're going to do to end today's episode. Bit of a mismatch this episode, you know. We went to the end with, went over that thing, but you know, we just I want to get a few things started at once so that you know, some days I might want to go and do the mob farm, some days I might want to build some stuff, other times go and do a something in the end. Just you know, the more stuff you you get started, the more stuff you have to choose from, which is always good. Now I just looked up how to make an a uh, alloyed furnace, and it's actually very, very, very simple. Look at that. It's just bricks. Now I believe we have... Hmm. I'm sure we have clay somewhere. Uh, didn't I bring some over? I think I did. For some reason. But now I can't remember. Oh no. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm just missing it. 
I'm pretty sure we did, though. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking for bricks, aren't I? What am I doing? What an idiot. Okay. Bricks, 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 bricks. One. <laughs> okay. I, I think I'm going to go make an alloy furnace off screen. You've seen how to make it. Just bricks. I also need a... Screwdriver. What's that? Oh, easy peasy. Uh, and we can get started. I'll also probably make, for testing purposes, a... No, not called that. Redstone lamp as well. I'll probably do that. So I'll get all the bits and pieces together, including... Um, hmm, I'll probably get the wafers, because you've seen me make those. I think we'll do the blue doped wafer on screen, though. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I think we're all ready to go. I've got loads of stuff ready. Hopefully, I've remembered everything, so we don't need to make multiple trips. My god, this place is a mess. Look at this. Mm. Anyway, we got the stuff to make an alloy furnace. Let's do that. There we go. Let's pop that down. There. I've, I really need to sort out this place. I need to get proper walls, proper ceiling. Because I even left enough gap to have a, look, like a little section for wires and stuff. So, yeah, that, that was smart thinking, except for the fact I haven't actually done anything with this room. Blimey. Alright, so, let's pop in some charcoal. What do we even need? Let's have a look. Uh, let's get that back up. Right, so we need blue doped wafer, which is a silicon wafer with... Oh, I forgot Nikolite. Damn it! Um, which is a silicon boule, 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 something with a... Now, does it need a diamond handsaw? Because if not, I can use my old one. Uh, so we need that. Now, how do you make that with... Charcoal and sand. And actually, I forgot sand. What am I on about? I forgot everything. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm no good at this Minecraft game. I really am not. So let's take that. What else do we need? Nicolite and my hand saw. There's the Nicolite. And there is a sapphire one. Just in case we don't need a diamond. Or do I think we do? Something tells me we do. So let's pop that and that in. It's cooking. It's doing something. <gasps> good. Good. We should probably... Excellent. Stop cooking now. Stop cooking. We're on ready steady cook. Uh, now we need that. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's what I'm on about. Four. Was it four? No. No, no, no. Now we need to cut it. I'm so stupid. So let's see, does this work? No. So it does need to be diamond. Okay. That does suck a little bit. Two more diamonds wasted. But fine. You've got to do what you've got to do. Let's just quickly do this. And that. And that. Make that. And then... Cut that. Yes, there we go. So now... Now we put it in the alloy furnace with the Nicolite. Okay, gotcha. You go in there. You start cooking. So let's just quickly make a little dark area to do some testing in. Um, not going to be the most scientific of, <laughs> of tests here. But we're just going to do this. I shall fill this back in later, do not worry. And then we'll just cut this off to block the light. I have got torches, no I haven't, I have to borrow one. But there we are, that's that done. Um, so now all we need is this thing, the stone wire, which is just a wafer with a bit of redstone. So there you go, and there you go. We're done, we can make it, let's go. Okay, so that at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That in the middle. <gasps> Light sensor, oh yes. Okay, and we also need to make, while we're here, a screwdriver because that's how you alter the settings of it I believe I do believe come on there we go screwdriver they actually have a sonic screwdriver in here isn't that cool look oh if I spell it right sonic screwdriver <laughs> nice okay so let's go in here with our little test that was weird and let's lay down some redstone to see if we can emit a... Okay, so it is. It's emitting a pulse. Let's borrow that. Not a pulse, a signal.
do not like the rain. Okay, so now nothing. Now we can... It's all about threshold. So let's right click with that. Oh no, that just twists it. Maybe it's shift click. Yes, look at that. That's just changed it or something. Oh, that's weird. It's like an eye blinking. Now how do we change its settings though? I thought it was with that. That just rotates it. Hmm. I thought I'd be all smarty pants and have this straight away, but obviously not. How do you... Okay, now it does. But we want it the opposite. We want it inverted. So actually, maybe we just need to do... Uh, this. Oh my goodness, what have I done? I've just burnt out the torch. <laughs> okay, it doesn't like that. Um, okay, so when it's light... No signal. When it's dark... Rave party! No. Um, hmm. Let me just quickly look up how to change the settings on this again. Ugh. Okay, well that, that apparently is the way you do it. That is altering the threshold. So, obviously I've got something a bit wrong here. Um, although I have, I have a feeling that's to do with the fact we're indoors. Maybe we need to go outside. Let's get some proper sunlight and no artificial lighting. It should, I hope, for once be night. Oh, it is. Excellent. Now, let's see. Let's do it here. Because they have got a setting for moonlight. But hang on, that's going to be... Let's just get rid of some of these torches. Okay. What does that do? Please, no creepers. Please. Alright, now it's emitting. What if we change this? Now it's not. And here's what light level are we on here? Let's check this. We are on... 3. Oh, is that right? Yes. 3. See that BL down there? That is the block light, I think. So, what happens if I change that? Now it's not. Not not ha huh. let's make it let's make it day and see what happens this is really confusing this this thing i thought why doesn't it have like um why doesn't it have a normal interface that's what i ask hang on wait a minute there's a creeper behind me i know there is yes oh that was a bit close okay Come on. Whoa. If I can get this to work, that would be great because these are so cheap. I could just make loads of these. I wouldn't even need to do a massive line of um, redstone to connect them all. I could just have... That might cause a bit of lag though. Well, there's so much redstone. I don't know. I'm just thinking inside my... I'm just thinking out loud now. It's sounding stupid. So let's get rid of that. Oh, there's another creeper. I hear you. Don't jump on my sensor. <laughs> stupid thing. Okay, uh, let's turn the things back on as well. Okay. So, it's still on. It's still on. Why are you still on, though? So, the only time you're off, well, you're not off at any time. Hmm. So, now the only thing we need to do, I guess, or the only thing left to do, is have it so it's... Well, we've got to invert it, I think. That's the only thing we can do. Which really means I need to I need it to be night again now. Um, because if it's going to be on all the time in daylight, on no matter which state... You would have thought there had been a completely closed one. Or at least... Huh. Yeah, I guess... I guess it's got to be night again. So I, I might as well just cut forward to when it's night. And we do a, a last a last test on this, see if we can get it to work with this thing. Let's pop that. Let's just get ready. I can go there. I can go there. I can go there. Alright, I'll see you when it's dark. Okay, here we are. I was just doing a little bit of farming. You know, just um, 
the old manual way, not like over there. Um, but it's getting dark, so let's test this now. Oh, there's a sheep on top of it. Why? Why do mobs seem to like jumping on these things? I do not know. But okay, it's not actually fully dark yet. It's still a nice little bit of redness on the horizon. But let's start testing without getting blown up. Okay. So, oh, hang on. Yeah, no, wait. We want that to be the opposite. We want it to not have a, a thing. So let's wait till it's yeah, around this level. I'd probably want it to change. So, still on. <gasps> it's off. It's flashing. Why? Don't do that. Why are you doing that? There you go. There you go. That works. Doesn't it? Let's just see if it changes if I do anything around it. No? No, no, no. It seems to be... Well, I'm right next to it. Oh, yes, that... That does. Okay, what if I do that? That's back to normal. Okay. I wonder why it does that. Why did it do that? Oh, I know why. I know why. It's because when it lights up, it's changing the light level near it, so it's in a constant loop. Aha. Uh -huh. So I bet if I... I bet if I did this... And I extended it a little bit, far away enough from the light source, or the light sensor even, it would stop doing that. I mean, obviously we still can't use this one because we would have lights right next to it. But... Yeah, there you go. Now it doesn't do that. Pretty clever. But I think we're going to want to go with this one, the smallest one. Because that seems to work. That seems to work even having it really close as well, which is what I want. Because seeing as those things are so damn cheap to make, I'll just make loads of them. I don't see what. I don't see why not. So let's just do it. Let's make it even shorter. Let's make it like this. Uh, you get there, there, and there. Yeah, that's good. I like it. That is the one we want, isn't it? Yeah, that's the that's the rave one. That's the one. The one with the smallest slit, like an Enderman eye, almost. So let's definitely make sure this works. Let's just go to sleep. And if it turns off, we're all good. We are set to go. Let's just watch out for all these mobs here. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, come on. I need to light up that the inside of there. I just realised how dark that is. Whoops. Okay. And that looks like it's turned off. Perfect. Oh, that's going to be so good. That's going to make it look so good. This, I know it's going to be a long way into the future having loads of buildings and stuff, but once we do, this is going to look so good with lights turn, uh, turning on and off. And it could be used for so many different things as well. Oh. Excellent. Okay, then. So, yeah, I'm glad we've done that. And like I said, this, this has been a bit of a mis mix match. What am I trying to say? Mismatch? Yeah, of an episode here. Bit of everything. Bit of the end, bit of mobs, bit of uh, this stuff. But hey, it's all good. We've got some good stuff found out. So, until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.